Hello, I'm Mike Kinderleiter along with Cody Downs. We're going to demo the Deluxe Tornado 4800 series. We're going to show you how well it recovers wash water with two 16-inch surface cleaners running. Your application will be much different than ours. We're in a wash bay situation here where the concrete really doesn't need to be cleaned. It gets washed on every day. It's sprayed down. So, But for the most part, you're going to get to see how well it recovers the wash water when two machines are running. So uh, these are five gallon a minute going to each one. So we're producing 10 gallons a minute for this system. Let me fire it up. All right, Cody. surface cleaner. Let me pull it right here. If you can zoom in, you can see that it's doing a great job at picking up the water. And it's going to start discharging water in our hose over here. We kind of move toward it. So we've got the discharge hose here. It'll start charging here pretty quick. There you go. That can go to a sanitary sewer, it can go to a holding tank, it can uh, go to wherever you want it to go. Obviously recovering this water for uh, enforcement reasons, we want to be in compliance with environmental laws. This application, we just want you to see where that water goes. It's inside our wash area, so all this water is actually being recovered. But anyway, you can see that. That's. Uh, a pretty quick discharge. You're not gonna you're not gonna put more water into the system than it can recover. Okay, now for our second demo, I'm gonna show you how the vacuum booms work with this system. And on the first test, we're gonna run a 10-foot section off of one hose. So I'm gonna cap off one side. So it just pulls from one side of the vacuum. I'm going to hook both these 10 foot, or I'm going to make the two 5 foot sections into one 10 foot section. I'm going to take uh, off both ends, set them here, clip it together. Relatively easy to do. Now, <clears throat> the vacuum system, the vacuum boom. is lined with foam and these plastic backing that give it its support. And as the vacuum is increased on this system, it, it, it pulls down even tighter to the concrete or asphalt or solid surface, whatever you're on. It won't work on dirt, but uh, as the vacuum increases, it'll get a tighter seal as, as it sucks down. And the way you adjust that is on the end or either end by opening these air, air valves. I like to do it on the far end that way I get a good airflow going through. So it pulls all the water through the system as it goes uh, on up to, to connect to the hose. You have ports that open, one on each system. Sometimes because I get such a good seal, it doesn't pull much across the system. And I'll put like a, a screwdriver in here to, to lift it up a little bit so I can draw in more water. to run past the edge down there because I got such a good seal I'm going to turn this around a little bit that's 10 gallons a minute going into this and it's going to run out the other side now so if I were to take a screwdriver kind of lift this up like I'm doing my fingers that way it can handle that flow. Sometimes you have to adjust it. You can hear the system being uh, the 
can't just pull it so much water through now. And it's pumping off. So it's discharging at the same time we're recovering here. So that's 10 gallons a minute. Go ahead and shut off the water, Cody. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this into two five, five foot sections and put the hoses on each of those. Let that finish picking up the water. Turn that off. <clears throat> Hook up the other side. Now this will be a little tougher demonstration because I can't get as good of a cupping action with one five, good, five foot section. But we'll do our best we can here to try to demonstrate how you can run two five foot sections independently in two different areas on the job site. I don't know why I did that. Um, this is the end I'm hooking up to. Hook that up. I'm going to close this valve here. Set that one up. Cap off the end, open up the airflow. Probably gonna do this about halfway because we got two running. Cup that, try to bring the water into the center of it. Now I'm gonna set this one up with the same configuration. All right, there we go. All right, Cody, turn the water on again. Let me start up the vacuum.
about my background is I got a lot of field experience too. I just don't sell the equipment or set it up. I know how to make them work as well. So anyway, that's how we do with the vacuum booms. You saw the surface cleaners. You can do two 16-inch surface cleaners, one 24-inch, a 10-foot section, a vacuum boom, or you can do two 5-foot sections. And there you have it. When I grow up, I want to be a power washer just like my daddy. <laughs>